Hey everyone, Dan here. Just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to remove the 30 FPS cap in Batman Arkham Knight for the PC. And also want to show you how to get rid of those pesky intro videos. Um, there's like seven or eight of them that start every time you start the game and there's no way to skip them. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that and jump straight into the game. So, first things first, open up Steam and go to your game library. And we're going to go to Batman Arkham Knight. Right click the game and choose properties. And then click on the local files tab. And then go to browse local files. This is going to take us to the game folder here. And we're going to open up BM game. And then we're going to open config. And in here we're going to edit the BM system settings.ini file. I like to right click and choose edit which opens a notepad you can edit in any word processor of your choice and we're looking for max FPS which you can see is right here on my screen just in case it doesn't pop right up on yours I'm going to show you if you hit control F or go to edit find you can type in max FPS and hit enter and then it's going to pop right up for you and again you can see they limited it to 30 frames per second and that is no good so we're going to change it I'm going to change it to 120. You can actually change this to any number that you want, um, 100, 120, 60, or even 9999 to make it completely unlimited. That's entirely up to you. I just like 120. I actually play the game between 45 and 50 FPS with max settings except for PhysX and GameWorks. I have those disabled, and I'm running a 4 gigabyte NVIDIA GTX 760 graphics card. Um, so hopefully I can give you kind of a point of reference. But there's a lot of other op options in here too. Now I will say if you're new to um, editing config files, I would say do the FPS and then save it and leave it alone. But if if you kind of have an idea what you're doing, it doesn't hurt to make a backup of this file and change some of these options to false. Um, you can change distortion, ambient occlusion, bloom, motion blur, those types of things. If you change those to false, it will increase the performance of the game. Personally, I like them, and I find the game very playable at 45 to 50 FPS, so I'm not going to bother changing that stuff. Um, but, like I said, don't forget to save. I almost did. <laughs> now that you've saved your file, that's it. You're done. The 30 FPS cap is lifted. In my case, it's changed to 120 and in your case it'll be whatever number you entered so now we're gonna remove the intro logos and we're back at our Batman Arkham Knight properties window here we're gonna click on the general tab and then we're gonna click set launch options and in here we're gonna type hyphen no logo that's hyphen n o l o g o and hit OK and that's it easy enough then you can close start the game and as you'll see it's gonna skip the logos and it's gonna jump straight into um, the start menu. And there you go. So now we can play Batman. Um, hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post up in the comments. I hope to be making a lot more tutorial videos like this. If there's anything in particular you need help with, uh, hit me up, let me know and I'd be happy to help. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks, have a good one.